Hi, I'm Ronald. Let's not waste any time and get right into it. In this video, I show you three tips how to get the absolute cleanest shadows when you film with a Sony cinema camera like the FX3 or FX6. Filming in dark environments can be a bit tricky and can lead to a lot of noise. There are two types of noise. The first one is electronic noise that comes from the whole signal processing of the sensor itself. And the second one is photon shot noise, which I'll come to in a second. In terms of recording settings, some say the Cine EI mode or S-Log3 in general wouldn't be the best for low light scenarios and they use a Cinetone instead. But I highly disagree. When you know how to set the levels in camera with S-Log3, you get the most dynamic range as Cinetone gives you way less. So I absolutely never film in any other mode than S-Log3. By the way, if you have an FX6, and this was something I was asked a lot, and you film in custom mode, but you stay in the base ISOs of 800 and 12,800, you get the exact same results as in Cine EI mode. It's only important that you stay in the base ISOs. And here is my second tip. Use the lower base ISO whenever possible. You can get the cleanest blacks and cleanest shadows straight out of the camera. So if it's okay to show a dark scene as a dark result in your movie, use ISO 800. What you should know is ISO 800 is much cleaner than ISO 12800, even if this is the second base ISO. That's the case for every camera that offers a dual base ISO. But if you have a camera like the Sony a7S III and you switch to the second base ISO 12800, you might say this image is quite clean. Well, that's not because of the sensor, that's because there is a lot of noise reduction going on in the camera. The advantage of cinema cameras is you can switch off this noise reduction because it quite often leads to a very plasticky and blocky image. If I have to, I make my noise reduction in post-production because I have much more control over it. And because of what we've heard, my third tip is only use ISO 12800 if you want to show something brighter than it actually is and overexpose the shadows a bit. Here is an example to make clear what I mean. Let's imagine you film somebody at dawn. It's pretty dark already and this is how it looks like at ISO 800. The shadows are clean, but you don't really see any facial expressions anymore. If we want to show these in our movie, we need to activate the second base ISO of 12800. Now we almost have a night vision camera and we record the scene much brighter than it actually is. This brings detail in your image that you otherwise wouldn't even see. But as you can see, this introduces some noise compared to ISO 800. The only thing that helps here is to get the signal out of this noisy shadow area. So we need to overexpose it by one or two stops. If we bring down the footage in post-production to the desired level, the shadow looks much cleaner because it was not recorded with all that shadow noise. By the way, and this is a kind of bonus information, have you ever noticed that noise mostly appears in the darker shadows and not in the total blacks? The reason for this is that not all of the noise comes from the camera sensor. There is some noise in the actual light that we are recording. And this is called photon shot noise. And the source of this noise is a physical one. We cannot avoid it. In areas with very little light, the few available photons fluctuate a lot more than in areas with a lot of light. So think of it as photons completely randomly hitting the sensor. And the next time they hit, they hit on a different place. So you really don't get a complete idea of what the image looks like. There are too few photons for that. This only gets better when more photons hit the sensor because then they spread all over the sensor and fill up the image. In completely black areas, there are no photons, so there is no photon shot noise. But you can reduce this photon shot noise by overexposing by one or two stops, maybe with the EI mode of Sony cinema cameras. I have made a whole video about this from start to finish, so if you want to understand Sony Cine EI mode, watch this video here. 